Hi everyone, let's explore this interest coverage question. Now, what they want us to do is answer a question by how much did MyDeco increase its debt from 2009 to 2013? And then we need to, to answer question B or part B which says, what was the company's EBITDA, somebody, some folks pronounce that EBITDA, right? I like to call it EBITDA. What was MyDeco's EBITDA divided by interest coverage ratio in 2009 and 2013? And did the coverage ever fall below 2.0? And then the last question is, overall, did MyDeco's ability to meet its interest payments improve or decline over this period? Now, to do this, we have to have MyDeco's financial information. And let me put that on the screen for you now. Okay, so here's the financial information that we're given. And there's quite a bit more. Um, if I scroll down, I can show you that they provided balance sheet information. Okay, and also statement of cash flow information. Okay, but for this, and it, and it keeps going until you get to total cash. But for this particular problem, we really have everything what we everything we need to answer these questions just by focusing on the uh, the income statement information they've provided. All right, so there we have the data in front of us. Here's the questions again. Let me just put that over here so you can see them. And the first question says, how much did MyDeco increase its debt from 2009 to 2013? And right there's the answer for you, okay, that I put on the screen right here. Um, the debt goes from 500 million to 600 million. Now, actually, to answer that one, we do have to look at the balance sheet. So let's take a look. Okay, now I've adjusted the screen so that you can see. Um, the bottom half of the balance sheet and here's our columns here so that we have that we can look up and we can see sure enough long-term debt went from 500 in 2009 to 600 in 2013 so 500 million to 600 million okay so now if I block out some of the information we don't need with blue and show the question and the answer you can see it all on one screen there's our 500 million in debt. There's our uh, 600 million. And uh, that's how we answer part A. How much did MICO increase from 2009 to 2013? So at this point, we're just looking at the balance sheet and uh, identifying where the numbers appear. OK, now I've slid back up to the top of the information on the company. And I've pasted in this little image you see here which was the question. Okay, so now we need to tackle part B, which says, why was MyDeco's EBITDA divided by interest coverage ratio? You could just call it the EBITDA to interest coverage ratio. You know, what was it in 2009 and 2013? And did its coverage ratio ever fall below two? Okay, so here's how you calculate that, right? We're, t we're talking about the EBITDA to interest coverage ratio. So they give us EBITDA, so let's do 2009. You take the 61.4 from there, goes on the top. You add in the depreciation and amortization. Now, they show all of these expenses, sales, administrative, depreciation. You can sort of see it underneath the answer. Um, is negative numbers only to let you know that we're subtracting them. That doesn't mean they had negative depreciation. It just means we're subtracting the depreciation and amortization to come up with EBITDA. So we would add back depreciation to get the numerator, and then we would divide by the, um, the interest expense. Now, in this case, they're telling you that interest income would be a positive number, and interest expense would appear in parentheses, meaning it's an expense, it'll be a reduction from EBITDA to get to pre-tax income. If we have income, it would be an addition from EBITDA, okay? So again, we enter the number in its uh, positive form um, because we're expecting interest to be an expense, and it's 33.7. So when we divide that out, we get 2.6 for 2009, then we do the same exact calculation 
for 2013, um, which is the last column over here. And so we have 72.8 plus the 38.6 of depreciation and amortization, and we divide it by the 39.4 interest expense, and that comes out to be 2.8. Uh, and then they said, did it ever fall below 2? Yeah, it did in 2010. It was 1.96, and you would have to calculate it exactly the same way. Okay, now I've added the answer to Part C as an image just on top of the numbers that we see. Part C said, you know, did, they, did it improve or decline over this period? And, um, well, it improved. It improved slightly, right? 2.6 to 2.8 in terms of... EBITDA over interest coverage. Uh, looking at this ratio, we had a slight improvement, but you know what they want to point out was it did fall in one year to below two, so there was a slight drop. And that's really all this question is 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 asking you to think about. I hope you found this helpful.